Hello there everyone, this is Phantom Duel C and today I'm gonna to be doing what if Naruto was a dimensional guardian par uh shoot two So yeah I'm really li I'm really surprised that a lot of people really enjoy what if Goku was betrayed because when I really when I first started writing the story I wasn't gonna really understand how I was supposed to make it but at least it ended up good and I really and I really enjoyed that you guys liked this so yeah this is gonna be the part two and the Star Clan one will be tomorrow not today so we will start at where Naruto was coming into his to his class as he met his teammates he saw them talking with each other as Naruto sat down next to Kiyomi as he put his head down and fell to sleep so basically if you guys forgot how Naruto looks like I'm gonna pause your, bo your boy Naruto's wearing this. Yeah, a hoodie that gives him cat ears, a mask that looks like cat, and basically everything black. Black ambo pants, a black sweater, and a black ma a black ca a black kitsune mask. It looks like this, but imagine it being like a fox style, not a cat. He basically wears everything like a fox, and his hair is red. And his sorry about that. His hair is white, and his eyes are red. So we continue. Sorry about that. I'm going to pause again. Uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering when am I going to do Zoro. I'm going to do Zoro after I make part 2 of what if Naruto was from the... Was from the Star Clan. Because I said to I said to you guys that you guys are going to have to wait a f a quite a while for me to make the part 2 of Zoro. Of Zoro Naruto. Because Zoro Naruto was really interesting until everyone else wanted me to do certain series. So yeah, be expecting a new one once I end what if what if Goku was betrayed because I really don't want to end it but there's no more arcs that I can do it based on based not on my series based on because I'm going I'm only going all the way to the Moro arc. So that's all. Moro arc. Once I reach the Moro arc, I'm ending it off there because Goltens will be old enough then to be learning with Goku. Uh, yeah, so we continue with Gotens. So yeah, I heard someone in the comments who h helped me, who actually helped me a lot. He, the person who wrote in the comments how how, how uh, that Goten was a quarter Kai, a quarter Saiyan, and a quarter Angel. Thank you so much. That actually helped a lot <laughs> because when I was thinking of how much I was, uh, how much of a percentage he was supposed to be of an Angel. I really didn't. I really wasn't thinking. Then I thought about it a lot. I thought about it. Eh, I thought about it, and I was thinking about it. But then I just said twenty. I just say he's half Kai, half Angel, and half Saiyan. That's really all. And for the person that in the comments said that Go that Goku's kids should have Garki. Yes, but the one that he had with Rose, no. Gohan. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really never going to give Gohan Garki. The reason why is because Gohan wasted his potential. He decided to waste it on just becoming a scholar. Um, well, well, what Chi Chi wanted him to be, uh, what Chi Chi wanted him to become. A scholar person who only works to become, who only works to become, uh, who become good through uh, a lot of things that I really want to know. So yeah, I'm sorry for those who like Gohan, but I'm not going to make him that. I'm not make, I'm gonna making him overpower. He doesn't deserve it. He basically wasted his the he wasted the best potential ever. Naruto is Naruto's basically in this one We'll just be starting off with a certain part where I really don't think I should be doing it, but I will. So yeah, give me two seconds. So yeah, as we see Kiyomi Uchiha keep kept looking at Naruto, uh, because kept looking at Naruto because all the Uchihas that saw Naruto being announced as the ghost of the Uchiha, all of the Uchiha that are alive, yes, they're still alive. On my other series, what if Naruto was from the Star Clan? I said that only Sasuke and 
and Fensoski, who was named Sasuke, are the only alive right now because of re rebels who are not wanting to be with the Uchiha after what they after what they heard. They basically said that. As the Uchiha tried to find Naruto, but they couldn't because Naruto lives in the forest on a tall tree. When I mean like a tall tree, I mean like Naruto has a house and a tree, technically a tree house. As Naruto, not as Naruto saw Itachi and Kakashi coming. Yes, Kakashi and Itachi are technically helpers. No, Itachi is a helper for it. For teams, as he chose Team Kakashi because he wanted to keep an eye on Naruto and Kakashi as well. They know how much power a single kid has. As Itachi and Kakashi saw Naruto and felt fear because they felt like they saw a demon telling them to be quiet. As Kakashi and Itachi, they both said, Meet us at the roof. Then they body flicker to the roof. As Naruto teleported out of his seat, out of his chair, in front of of the door as Naruto looked at them with one eye and showed Itachi's Mangekyo Sharingan. Yes, Naruto can switch his eyes through whoever Mangekyo he wants. So basically, Madara's Renegon has no chance against Naruto because Madara and Naruto can be on the same level just by Naruto blinking once. He has his Renegon. As he looked at all of them with one eye that shows Itachi's Mangekyo. Mangekyo Sharingan. As Isasuke said, why do you have Itachi's eye? As Naruto deactivated Itachi's eye. And as he, Naruto said, once you catch me, I will tell you. All my powers. As all of them were, were looking at Naruto. As Naruko and Mito activated their nine tail eye. Like I said, Naruto has 50% of the nine tails chakra and they have the 25. So yeah, they have they are able to use the nine tails. I asked Kiyomi and Sasuke activated the three Tamoe shutting gun. They train a lot with the Uchiha, so they basically mastered it. As Naruto as they all rush at Naruto. And because I asked last time that Naruto have as I last time I asked if anyone wants Naruto to have uh since he's a, since the person that he's the reincarnation of who gave him the power is the one that created all the universe, t meaning Goku, One Piece and everything like that. So basically Naruto has Ultra Instinct. But he didn't activate it. He just activated. He didn't know he had an Ultra Instinct. He just activated the ability wh which all Angel has. Meaning the dodging one. As Naruto. Uh, shoot. So wait. Give me a second. As Naruto. Uh, uh, shoot. Oh uh, yeah. As Naruto. As Naruto dodge all of them. Naruto and Mito. As. Naruto and Miko rush at Naruto. Naruto dodge all of their attacks with only one blink. As Naruto disappear and reappear in front of Kakashi and Itachi. As Naruto's white hair cover his eyes. As Naruto looked at them and said, You, Itachi, you have interesting siblings. As Naruto closed his eyes, then all of them then all of them came as Naruto dodge all the hands that were coming for him. As Naruto said, You have a month be to touch me. And they... And get to know what my powers are. But you're just slow. As Hitachi and Kakashi ask. What does. He mean. As Hitachi and Kakashi. Uh, looked at. As Hitachi and Kakashi. Looked at Kiyomi. As Kiyomi explained what Naruto said. As Hitachi told, told Kiyomi. Try this. As he said. As he said to tap him. To ask a question. That will count. As uh, she nod, then she would tap Naruto on her on his arm because Naruto didn't sense her in time. But he did this on purpose. Yes, on purpose. As Naruto said, Okay, you have you get four questions. As uh, Kiyomi was like, Yes. Haha, <laughs> I got him to tell me. As Naruto then said, So what's your four questions? Then Naruto said, My f then she said, My first question is how do you have my brother's eyes? Uh, yep. Then Naruto said this as he activated his Itachi's Mangekyo. Itachi was shocked and activated his as Itachi said. As Itachi said, how do you have it? Then Naruto said, oh, because of this. As he, as he took off his sweater and showed them his arm. As they saw a tattoo. This tattoo right here. 
all the way to his elbow. As they, as Naruto said, that's how, that's the limit of my power. My power has a limit sometimes, you know. As they said, so being how much power do you have? Naruto grabbed his fingers and started to count. Let me let me count. If it if it were me, I would at least have ooh seventy three percent of my power. Uh, now it's basically the reason why Naruto why Naruto's arm uh, why not uh not that why the uh, why the mark reaches all the way to his elbow. It kind of reaches closest to his arm, but it's like uh it's like like at the point right here like. Where you see Naruto holding the sword, where you see Naruto holding the kunai, it's basically kind of a. Uh, mm, let me think. His knuckles. It's basically at his knuckles right now. Naruto's Naruto's hand. Uh, t the tattoo that measures Naruto's power is at his knuckles right now. As they're like, as they're all wondering, how the heck is this man having all this power? As Naruto. Said, uh, I have more power, but I don't really use it. As then Itachi said, okay. That was the first question. As Naruto said, yep. Second question. Then Naruko asked, that's a lie. You don't have that much power. As Naruto activated, he activated the eternal Mangekyu and showed them his eyes. As he said, as he said, infinite Sukiyomi. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Actually, I am kidding. I'm not planning on putting someone in an infinite Sukiyomi. Even even though he actually has it. So yeah, as Naruto says Sukiyomi. Everyone appear in a world. In a forest. In a forest. Sorry about that again. You weren't meant to see that. And then as everyone saw a forest full of... How do you say it in a short version? A forest full of a forest full of leaves. Everyone was shocked as they asked, as they asked, "What are we doing here?" As Naruto, as Naruto suddenly appear in in a in a grown up version of himself. As they uh, then they said, "Naruto, why are you that older?" Then Naruto said, "Oh." The reason why you see me wearing this this mask is because of a uh, certain someone. He gave me a copy of his mask, but every time that I take this mask, I go back to being my my normal size. So yeah, uh, they're like, okay then, okay then, then take off your mask. As Naruto said, sure. So as he take off his mask and he went back to his normal size, he suddenly. The suit that you see right here, that blue suit, he had it on his body. As they were like, why do you have that suit on? Then Naruto said, oh, that's part of the, the power. Then they they were surprised and shocked. As Naruto then explained to them how his power worked. He showed them that the tattoo actually reaches all the way to his other arm. And then once it reaches his, once it reaches his legs, it will disappear and be and connect with his eyes. And then the power will be sucked into his eyes and they'll be rushing to his body. Then they were like, oh, wow. But Naruto didn't explain the story of who powers these are. As they asked, but who gave you this power? And Naruto said, sooner or later, I'll explain who he is. As they said, but why aren't you telling us? Then Naruto said, like hell, I will tell anyone. Then we continue. Naruto. Then Naruto was shocked. Then Naruto was shocked to see that they didn't really mind. As Naruto then said, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So basically, the part where I'm going to introduce Kaguya's daughter. I won't introduce her yet until part 3. But for now, I'll introduce the first ship. First ship is Kiyomi. So yeah. We continue as Naruto explain more about how, why he's wearing the suit. As they're like, so... You're wearing the suit because the person that trained you... 
gave it to you and you actually like it. As Naruto then showed the suit off and said, Yeah, I like it. As he put on his helmet back and looked the same side as this one right in the middle. As they were all shocked, they said, So, yeah, he, everyone, mm, let me think, sorry, as everyone was shocked about Naruto liking a suit, they were all surprised about it as Naruto then kicked them out and they were in the real world, as they saw Naruto with white hair, red eyes, and everything normal, as the, as uh, Let's just say Kiyomi liked the Naruto in his mindscape. Uh, one more ability. Reading minds is his ability. So it's really interesting how the man. How the Naruto can hear it. As Naruto had, had heard this thought. And was shocked. As he said. In his head. Okay Karama. Looks like I have found a girlfriend. As Karama laughed and said. Sure kid. Try it. As, as Naruto said, as Naruto went, get out of his mindscape, as uh, Kakashi said, we'll be doing your likes and dislikes and hobbies. As Naruto, as Kakashi said, what about you, uh, red hair girl? M Mito looks exactly like Kushina, but just have blue eyes. As uh, she said, as Kakashi said, "What about you, red hair?" Uh, Kakashi, as as Mito said, "Uh, you haven't even told us about you." As Kakashi said, "Damn it, she's the same as Kushina Sensei." So basically, uh, I'm gonna pause real quick. So yeah, yeah, yeah like I was saying, then Kakashi said, "Fine." Then Kakashi. Then Kakashi said, okay, hello there, I'm Kakashi Hatake. My likes are none of your business. My dislikes are none of your business. And my hobbies, as you can obviously see, as you can see, the book. As they saw the Ichi Ichi Paradise book. Yes, the book that we all love. The book that we all love and hate at the same time. <laughs> but I like it. As Kakashi then said, okay, Itachi, your turn. As Itachi said, hello there, I'm Itachi Uchiha, brother of Sasuke and, and Kiyomi. My, my likes, my family, my dislikes, traitors, and my hobbies, training with my younger siblings. As Kakashi said, there you go. As Mito nodded and said, thank you. Then she, then she said, okay, my likes are, hello there, I'm Mito Namikasi Samaki. My likes are my, my family. My dislikes are people who are arrogant. Yeah, I'm not going to say that she hates Naruto because if she does, good luck with life. Uh, then, she, then Kakashi looked at Naruto as he said, Okay, what about you? What about you, uh, blonde hair kid? Not blonde hair kid. <laughs> as he said, what about you, uh, red eye kid? As Kakashi, as Naruto then glared Kakashi and said, call me that one more time and you will meet death as soon as I can. As Kakashi just said, don't, don't worry about it. I won't say it again. As Naruto then said, good. Now, I'll tell you. Hi there, I am Naruto Us I'm Naruto Guardian. I am my likes one eye looks at Kiyomi as as Kakashi and Itachi saw that. They were both shocked. My dislikes don't wanna tell you my hobbies this as he took out a book that says Uchiha's Uchiha history uh, no the history of the shinobis. Every and and it, in a small tiny print, it says everything about the history of the shinobis. 
as they said, where did you get that book? As Naruto said, found it. Don't really, don't really know, but found it. As they're shocked, the Naruto said, oh yeah, my other dislikes is arrogant bastards. As uh, Naruto just looked at them and laughed and said, well, that's all I really have uh, for dislikes and hobbies. As then I went to, and then I went to. Uh, yeah. So we continue to the point where it's that I I already went to Mito and Naruto. Now it's Naruto who looks exactly like Naruto when she, he was younger. So yeah. Then we continue. Okay, so we continue. It was Naruko who, so I, like I said, she looks exactly like Naruto when in the academy. Naruto. Naruto is looking at his sister as she said, "My dislikes. Uh, my dislike is my likes. My likes is my mail. Give me a second. I don't really know what should her likes be. My likes are ramen." My dream is to become Hokage, and my hobby is training and eating ramen. That's what I can really say for Naruko. So, yeah, I don't have anything else to say for her, so, yeah. We'll skip her. <laughs> As we continue to Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, Sasuke isn't as emo as always. He's, got, he's gonna kind of forget about it. As Sasuke said... Hi there, I'm Sasuke Uchiha. My likes is training with my older brother Itachi. My dislikes arrogant people. Warning. Mito and Sasuke might end up together. Just warning you just warning you about let me think yeah, just warning you about the future. As it was continue. Then he said my hobbies is training with my older brother and my sister. My dream is to become the clan head. My dream is to become the first Uchiha, uh, first Uchiha Hokage. Yes, I'm changing his dream. I like. I will. I would rather. I would rather see an Uchiha become the Hokage to see Toby Rama's face when he sees. <laughs> comment down below. Comment down below. How how do you think Toby Rama, the second Hokage, will be when he sees Sasuke become the Hokage? Because yes, I'm making him Sasuke to become the Hokage to see Toby Rama Senju's face. <laughs> because it's really funny it's seeing a Hokage who really doesn't like uh, Uchiha's. So yeah. So the way continue as Naruto looked at Sasuke as he was surprised and said, "Cool, we have a we have an Uchiha becoming Hokage." Maybe I can, maybe I can change, maybe I can change the history and make him Hokage, but I won't do it. As we continue, then it was Kiyomi Uchiha's turn. And one thing, Itachi no, Itachi noticed, Itachi noticed that, he, that Naruto looked at Kiyomi. Then we go to Kiyomi, as Kiyomi says, hi there, I'm Kiyomi Uchiha. My likes are as... One of her eyes looked at Naruto quickly so no one can see but Itachi being the broken bastard he is. He looked. As Sasuke laughed. And, no, Sasuke noticed this as well. He laughed in his head. Damn. Itachi noticed as well as he laughed as well. Itachi was laughing saying, Yeesh, I'm, a, I'm about to have a OP nephews. <laughs> yeah. I'm making. I'm giving Itachi that type of thoughts, and when his and when her mother and Fugaku find out, <laughs> even more weirder. As uh, Itachi said, your dislikes. He she said arrogant people. Your hobbies. Uh, training with my brother and my older brother, which is you. As Itachi smiled and said, "Cool." Then Kakashi said, "That's all." So that's really all. We that's really all I have to say for that for that part. So we go continue. As we as Kakashi says, well team Se team 7 will be united tomorrow at 7 of the morning. 
don't be late. We'll be doing the graduate, not graduation exam, the belt test. Yeah, so we continue. So, so yeah, Naruto is about to leave as, Naru as when Itachi and Kakashi got off the side of the fence where Kakashi was sitting on. Uh, So then, then Naruto jumps on top of the fence as everyone saw chakra on his leg. As Naruto was holding on. Then Naruto, then Naruto just turned around and gave him an eye smile as he jumped off. Everyone saw Naruto, as everyone was shocked, Kiyomi said, Naruto, don't! Because they know that, they all think that Naruto did, doesn't know tree walking. Because he only explained 10% of his power, I forgot to say. So yeah, then they looked as not as they saw Naruto wasn't wasn't dead. He was just walking down the wall as Kakashi and Itachi said, He knows tree walking. He knows tree walking and I don't think they know I don't think he knows water walking. Uh, as let's say there was a lake on the on the uh, around the school as Naruto jumped in the water and was walking on it. As he then put key, uh, not key, as he then put chakra on his legs and jumped off. As they were shocked to see that a kid could have this much power. And remember, he is 14. As uh, Naruto then teleported back to his house. No, he teleported to the ramen shop. As uh, Kiyomi, Naruko, and Mito, and Sasuke went to eat ramen. As they saw Naruto eating ramen, he, he was eating ramen with his mask. So yeah, <laughs> not even the ramen guy knows who, who, how, or how, how the heck, or who the heck taught this kid to eat with a mask. But they were all, they were all <laughs> shocked, but they didn't really care. They were all still glad that Naruto still loves their ramen. So they now then Kiyomi sits next to Naruto as she smile as she smiles at Naruto. Then Naruto smiles back. So then, so yeah, then we continue to a point where Naruto looks at Kiyomi and says, so Naruto, so basically, Naruto just looked at Kiyomi and said, hi there Kiyomi, wanna have ramen with me? As she smiled and said yes. She then told, then Naruto told the ramen guy that to bring him more ramen for Kiyomi Uchiha and, and his two sisters. As Naruto still loves the sisters even though they kind of hate him but they don't at the same time. Then Naruto, and Naruto just put, paid the ramen guy saying that this is the money that he owned him for all those years of fitting him when he was younger. Yes, I am making Naruto pay his debt. Basically... With the money he made on the Yambu, he's basically more richer than <laughs> he's basically more richer than the Namikazes together, because you guys don't know how many S rank missions this bastard could complete. He completed at least two hundred S rank missions, two one hundred A rank missions, fifty B rank missions, and. 20 C rank missions. This man could finish S rank missions more better. So yeah. So then we continue. As Naruto was eating ramen, Kiyomi kept looking at him. As Kiyomi said, as Kiyomi just said, uh, Naruto, can I ask you a question? As Naruto said, yeah, what's up? As uh, she said. What happened to you while, while, while you were in a coma, as Naruto said? Nothing. Just learn power. <laughs> as Naruto just smiled and said, just got power, as that's all I got. As they are wondering, is, is that all the power he got? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. We continue as Naruto. Then we skip to the next day. Now we're not going to go into any relationship parts in this one because 
they haven't known each other for that long. Naruto has been in a coma for at least a lot of years. So we continue to the point where is the bell test. As Naruto waited to it, for it to be at least 9 because he knows Kakashi is going to make it there late. As he teleported to a tree and suppressed his chakra for no one can sense him. Not even the Mangekyo or the Sharingan or anything can sense him. Not even the Byakugan. Not even the Nososuke can sense where he is. As Naruto waited, as Kakashi came, as Kakashi asked, where's Naruto? As Naruto then jumped off. Naruto jumped off from the tree and he had his hands on his pocket and he was flying. As Kakashi said, you can fly as Naruto said. Have you ever heard of the legendary dojutsu, the Renegon? As Kakashi was shocked and said, how do you know about that dojutsu? Because we all know that being a Joni comes with a... Being a Joni or an elite Joni like Kakashi... Comes with the effect of knowing about all the dojutsus. As Kakashi says, yes, well, how do you know about that? You're... The, basically, I have the manipulation to able to fly. Because uh, I technically have the... As he... I was, he was about to say, Rene... Rene Sharingan or the Renegon with nine to, tomos. But he didn't say that. He just said nothing. I just have the ability to fly from it. As they were like shocked. How do you know about all those abilities? As Naruto just said... There are some secrets you don't have to know, Kakashi. Some secrets you don't have to know. As Kakashi was shocked to say, how does this kid know about that? But then Naruto just said, now, shall we start the test? As Kakashi nodded, as, they, as Kakashi explained what the test was. It's basically the same as the, as the last test. The test is, basically, if you... If you uh, don't manage to get the test... To get the bells from him and Itachi, you will be you will be sent back to the academy. As Naruto just said, and we're gonna die, aren't we? Basically, we're dead in a short version. As Kakashi said, "Ah, huh, this kid is smarter than I thought he'll be." As Naruto just kept, as Naruto just kept quiet. Then Kiyomi and everyone else left. But Naruto was there looking at Itachi and Kakashi. As he then... As Naruto got into his fighting stance and looked at them. As he said... Well... Itachi and Itachi and Kakashi, I'm sorry but I'm going to end this in one blow. As they're saying... Kaki, I see Kaki. As Naruto said... Nope. It's just being who I am. As he then... As he grab... As he grab the ball... Not the ball. As he... Basically... Grab an item from his pocket. As they saw the flying Raijin Kunai. As he... Naruto threw it between them. And they were like... You missed. As Naruto said. Did I? Then they looked and they saw the flying Raijin mark. As they were like... No! Is that flying raging? As Naruto said, yup, and eh, I'm gonna kill you. As Naruto then somehow fly. As Naruto somehow fly with the flying raging kunai. Some way, somehow, touching Kakashi couldn't see him. They were so shocked to see that a 10 year old kid, or A or something like that, could be this fast. As Naruto. As Naruto just laughed and said, Itachi Uchiha, the first shinobi to ever unlock the Mangekyo Sharingan, can't even see a kid like me, speed. As they're all shocked, and Naruto said, Now, let's go get them. As Naruto then, as Naruto summoned, as Naruto got, did a duo, uh, how do you say it in, a, in another version? He did a. A duo, a duo, not a duo. Shoot, a duo what? Yeah, no, you know what? A duo Rasengan. So yeah, sorry for about the past. I just had to answer someone's question. As Naruto then looked at Kakashi and said, "As Naruto then said, Sukiyomi, 
He then made Kakashi get unconscious as he grabbed the bells and switched and did a jutsu. Before we before that happened, Naruto slammed the Rasengan on their back and make them both go to the ground. As the, Naruto had it a few seconds before before they woke up, uh, he grabbed the bells, s substituted them, and they and they each had a four bells. As Naruto grabbed the bells from Kak from Kakashi, substituted them with rocks. Grabbed the Tachi's bells and substituted them with rocks as well. As Naruto deactivated the Tsukuyomi and said, Well, looks like I'm done. As he jumped to a tree and sit down. As the fights went kind of the same, Kiyomi and, and, and Sasuke's teamwork with Naruko and Mito was great. As Kakashi and and uh, Itachi were shocked. They didn't see Naruto do a single piece of work. As they somehow felt like they needed to talk to Naruto. As Naruto was just sitting on a tree reading his History of Shinobi book. As Naruto then said, Well, looks like it's done. As, na, as Kakashi said, Naruto, you failed. As Naruto then laughed and said, Really, did I? As he snapped. He snapped in the bells and Mina on Kakashi's hand. Itachi's, on Itachi's pocket disappeared. As Naruto said, Looks like you failed, Kakashi. You failed to the to the to see that I have grabbed the bells before you could even see them. As uh, Kakashi was shocked. Kakashi was shocked to see to see that a kid like Naruto managed to get the bells from him and Itachi. As uh, Itachi then smiled and said. Congratulations, Naruto. You have managed to take the bells from me and from me and your Tensei. As Naruto then said, Sensei, Sensei, you say, huh? Sensei, 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 Sensei. Nope, don't have one. As <laughs> Kakashi just got a tick mark on his head and said, Naruto. As Naruto then laughed and said, Sorry, Kakashi. As he, as he, as he, uh, used Kamui, and Kakashi was shocked to see that Naruto can actually use Kamui. As Naruto teleported, teleported with Kakashi, and what, and, no, not teleported with Kakashi, he teleported home. As this is going to be the end of What If Naruto Was a Dimensional Guardian, part, part two. Thank you guys for enjoying my What If Naruto, What If Goku Was Betrayed. It was a really fun series to make, so... This is going to be the end. Have a good day. Have a, have a good day wherever you are. And goodbye.